Floss Tube friends. It's time for day 25 of Flossmas. Hello, my Floss Tube friends. It's time for another episode. I wish you a joyful Christmas. I wish you a joyful Christmas. I wish you a joyful Christmas and a blessed new year. Hello, everybody, and Merry Christmas. It is Friday, December the 25th, and this is Floss Tube number, number something. We're in the 80s. I've lost track because I'm film, I've been filming every day, but we are on number 84, 84. Welcome to my Christmas extravaganza, fun Friday Floss Tube weekly update. I am Annie Joyfield Stitcher. This is my channel, my video about cross stitch, knitting, and other crafts. Thank you so much for joining me, whether it be Christmas where you are, December 25th where you are, or later. Um, welcome. So, I'm going to show you a tiny bit of stitchy stuff, but the rest is going to be my mystery boxes I opened. I have 20 items to give away because it's 2020. So we're going big on this Christmas giveaway. And I have my last day of my Treehouse Knits Advent to open. So yeah, I'm so pumped. I um said to my friends and family, I want mystery boxes. I want fun, crafty things. They said, cool, tell us where to buy it, when to buy it. And they did, and they came through. So I have to show you, I am going to be starting a project today. I am starting along with Erin Two Martini Stitcher. We are starting, this is in my Love You More Studio Co Pouch. We are starting Christmas Tree from Nitka Moscow and Barbara Anna Designs. And we are hashtagging it, hashtag Christmas tree of magic sow. So if you are you happen to have this project, you want to stitch along with us, put it in the hashtag so we can see it. So that is really the only stitching project. I realized that with me filming epic whip parades next week, yes, multiple whip parades, because I cannot film how many whips I have all in one go. So you're going to get multiple parts. You can skip right on over them. But I felt like since you're going to be seeing all of my projects next week, that I will share projects in those because this is going to be long enough as it is. So welcome to anybody who is new, who is joining me. And welcome back to all my friends who have been with me through this year and part of 2019. This is incredible. 84 videos later. I am so exceedingly grateful for each of you and blessed for some reason, my face is all cheruby and red. I think it's because I'm tired. <laughs> um, Joyfield Little One was up at 6.30 this morning calling my name. She's excited. I get it. I totally get it. But dude, it's a lot. Um, we've had a fun, fun day though. We got up this morning. Um, she came and laid in bed until daddy was ready to get up at eight o'clock. We kind of pushed that a little bit. We said like 740, you can go up and try to get him awake. And so at that point, she sees what Santa brought her, um, which she got some Legos. She got some My Little Ponies that are like the, they look like old school My Little Ponies. She got a couple of, um, jewel diamond painting kind of things and she got a present pet, which is this dog that breaks itself out of its own box. It's very interesting. And then we open stockings. That's what we do first thing on Christmas morning. And so we open stockings. Super fun. We got some cute little stocking stuffers. I buy my own stocking and I wrap everything in everybody's stocking. And so it takes us a little bit longer to open, but it really just extends the fun and the giving and all of that. And then about 9.30, we left to go over to my parents' house. Um, we, they are in our bubble. Um, 
And so we went over there and we have brunch with them. I didn't because I'd already had my protein shake this morning. Um, but it's the same meal we've been having since I was a kid. And my brother and his wife were there as well. And then after everybody eats, we, um, and I was actually, during that time, I was balling my next color on my um, Forbidden Fiber Co. Um, advent calendar. And I got in quite a little bit of, as Aaron to Martini to Stitcher calls it, kitten tangle. It, for some reason, that skein was not cooperating with me. And um, my sister-in-law was sitting across from me laughing because she's a crocheter and she knits a little bit as well. Um, she prefers crochet. I prefer knitting. And she was just laughing and she said, I'm only laughing because I've been there and done that. And so um, I got to about, which was kind of sad because it was my golden girl Chia pet, but I got to a point where I maybe had five or six like I had quite, uh, you know, like I had the majority, maybe let's say 75% of it wound and the last 25% was just not happening. And so I, I went, I cut it and I was like, nope, I don't, I'm, I'm, I can't. It's okay. And it was Golden Girls Chia Pet. But anyway, for some reason that skein was wonky and I'm, I feel certain that Leanne had no clue um, because I think she gets her mini skeins and they come in ready to die. Um, but what's funny is Mr. Joyful was like, I can fix it. And he pulled it and he worked on it and worked on it. Mm -mm, it ended up just going in the trash. He gave up on it too. He worked on it for a while, but he gave up on it too. And so we opened gifts over there. Um, and then, so that led us to about midday, like lunchtime ish. And my brother and his wife had to leave because her mom was coming to their house, uh, very shortly. So they left, we packed up all of our stuff and we stopped by my father-in-law's house who lives a block or so from us and dropped off some of the leftover breakfast food for him and my husband's grandmother and all of that. And just briefly, and then we came home, had a tiny, I had a tiny bite to eat for lunch we uh, did a first clean out of boxes and trash and all of that because our trash pickup was extended by to tomorrow. Um, and we get two extra bags, um, which I think we're going to still go past that. But it is what it is. And then we unloaded all the stuff out of the car. And then we sat down and we did gifts as a family. And um, got some fun stuff. And I got some new slippers from my husband. I'm so excited. I love Ugg slippers. And I, I ask for a new pair every year. And he gets me a new pair every year because I wear them out. And so that was super exciting. So I want to show you one of my most treasured gifts that I got. And this video, I will tell you, is going to be in pieces. Because everything is so scattered over here. I have nothing like... The second tier and third tier are too far from me. So we're going to have some clips here and there. But this, I'm going to cover up my daughter's name. But she created this for me. And so it says, this little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. And it has some of her favorite words that describe us. She painted this beautiful girl. She shaded and painted the hair. It has a koala. And then she cut out from magazines different words or printed them like huggy because that's what she says huggies and so she cut out and some pretty papers and things and kind of painted and decoupage this and it is precious to me and I'm going to and she's learning cursive so she signed her name right over here in cursive and this is going to go up on my wall over here because it is just too good oh my gosh I love it she is a budding little artist and she makes beautiful pieces and I love it and I love that she's got the fun candle I love it it's so perfect so that was one of my most treasured I'm a sentimental gift person and so those are the things that mean the most my other thing that my mom got me is um she got me a ring stack from Lisa Leonard jewelry it's got a garnet which is my daughter's birthstone some other pretty rings a little uh the little knot one. I think it's called like an infinite knot. I'm not sure. A love knot. And so I got a ring stack to wear on every day because the really pretty ring she got me that has the garnet, 
Um, it's not meant to be an everyday ring, but I'm used to wearing a ring. So she got me this. So yay. Um, so I think where we're going to start, because I showed you my start for today, is we're going to start with, I want to open the last day, the full skein from my Treehouse Knits advent calendar. So this was a 24 mini skein, one full skein to open today. And I'll show you the one that I got yesterday, which is so fun. Um, it's treehouse underscore niche. You can find Lauren's shop on Etsy. But if you go to Instagram at treehouse underscore knits, um, there's a link to her shop. She has some beautiful things. Um, I have one other thing to show you also from her shop. I'm keeping this in my um, Caroline Evertotes bag with the 12 days of Christmas. It is busting. But let's look at the full skein. And I think I'm going to, since this is a full skein with minis, this is going to be perfect for the Color Riot shawl. Um, I, when I get ready to start it, I'll share more details on it. Ooh, oh, MGs. Look at that. I do say this. If I decide to not do this as the main for that, this will be a shawl in and of itself. Look at how gorgeous that is. Lauren, it's gorgeous. Oh my goodness. So this is her 80-20 fingering. It is insanely beautiful. I mean, I love everything that she does, but look at how pretty. I love it. So yay. I'm so excited. I've been waiting to see what was in this white tissue with the pretty red bow. And it's an incredible skein of yarn. So awesome. Um, I actually, as I've said, I had one more yarn advent. This is from um my LYS, my local yarn shop which is Juju Knits, and this is a collaboration they did with Dye to Spin and Fox Bane Fibers. I am doing this as, it's an Advent 2020, but it's got 12 bags, so I'm doing it as a 12 days of Christmas. So I'm going to pick one of the bags out of in here and open and see what we get. So I'm just gonna pick randomly. So we've got this bag right here. It's actually 14 mini skeins, so there's gonna be uh, at least one or two days that have more than one. So let's see what's in the first bag that we got. It said it also has some links to patterns. It has some other goodies. Needless to say, after I show you what I got um, other Christmas haul, I'm good on yarn for a bit. Oh my goodness. I think this has Stellina in it. Or it is Stellina. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this is incredible. Look at that. So this is from Fox Bane Fibers, and this is Monica and Rachel's Prom from the Friends Collection. It is a 90% superwash merino wool, Lurex micro skein. It's 41 yards, 10 grams, fingering sock weight. It says, I feel pretty, oh so pretty. And then it has um, a QR code for a knitting or crochet pattern. How fun. And it says, the color story is perfect for the prom season. This color was inspired by the Friends episode, the one with the prom video. Monica and Rachel's prom dresses are the quintessential 80s designs and the inspiration for this. I love that episode, by the way. And then also in here is a little cute little scroll tied with some yarn, of course. Let's see what this says. Oh, I have a coupon. For 15% off from Fox Bane Fibers, it's uh, valid for one regularly priced item, in-person use only, expires 12-31-21. I'll have to ask um, Julie at Juju Knits if that means I can purchase from her store. I think I can. So yay, what a way to kick it off with some Friends-inspired yarn. Yes, please. So, oh. And I got a tiny little... Oh, wait a minute. Was I supposed to go in order here? Oh, I was. That's day five. Oops. My bad. I did it wrong. I missed the fact that this was tied around the ribbon. That says five. It is what it is. So we'll just go back to number one tomorrow. <laughs> Oopsies. And then we'll skip. It'll be okay. 
it'll all work out. I'm such a planner and I just totally wrecked the outfit. I wrecked it. It's okay. All right, so here's how the remainder of this video is going to go. Well, actually, I think we're going to do joy-filled stash stash, which includes basically all the remaining items. But what I have over on my bed out of sight is I have some of the things that I purchased with and that arrived within the last week. A couple of things I put under my tree. Some of them I just opened, but I wanted to show you because the companies that created them are fantastic and they were working their heinies off this Christmas. I have the uh, Mystic Fabrics Mystery Box and Grab Bad Fabrics. It's so good. I want to show you what's in that um, in case you want to jump on the bandwagon next year because I would highly encourage it. I have the Stitch Toolbox one from Anna Colado. Um, her mystery box. I have the the Stitch Me mystery box, the deluxe mystery box, and then I have a bucket slash items through sprinkled throughout of 20 giveaways. So the first thing I want to tell you going into this is there's going to be giveaways sprinkled throughout the remainder of this video. Please do not say giveaway. Please do not say free. Please put in the description box the number and or word that I ask you to put for each item that you're interested in. I think I'm gonna do numbers because there's 20. You have to list each number separately, okay? I would love for you to be a subscriber to my video, um, but I understand if you're not for whatever reason, but I would prefer you to be one where I can see you like a public sub subscriber. And please have filled out the link down there that says happy mail form. That is how I send you things. When I go through and do YouTube random comment picker, if I do not see your YouTube screen name, and your YouTube screen name does not mean you have a channel. It is your name on YouTube. So it could just be your name, but it's whatever pops up with your comment. So if your comment comes up as your name, put that in that line. If you have not filled that out, I, I, I pick again. Because it is easier for me if I already have your information than try to chase it down. I have started doing this after I've seen others do it, one. And two, after I had two giveaways where I, the person never got back in touch with me. And then I feel badly. And then it's been too many weeks and whatever. Um, so very last and final thing. Please be 18 years old. Um, it's not because I'm ageist. It is because legally, in order to have your address you have to be 18. So it's not weird and creepy. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to say it's joy filled stashy stash time. It's joy filled stashy stash time. So the first thing I want to show you whoop, is I purchased from Molly Klein Designs. She is Sweet Tea Yarns. So Sweet Tea Yarns, you can find her under mollykleindesigns.etsy.com. She did a little Christmas morning, Christmas breakfast, Christmas morning bundle um, of yarn and some stitch markers that was such a great price. So it's called Christmas Breakfast is the colorway. I got the Darling DK and this is the yarn that I got, which is just gorgeous. I love these kind of just really pretty rosy and like plummy gentle colors. And then it has some beautiful glass stitch markers from Ann Tudor. Um, so there's a mug, I'm calling it hot chocolate, an over easy egg, and a cinnamon roll. So I got this. I think it's beautiful. I love it. And um, I don't have any specific plans for this, but I wanted something fun to open this morning when we were opening presents. So I bought it for myself. And as my husband said, well, who knows what you want better than you? And I was like, right you are, sir. Right you are. All right. Uh, my fabric of the month arrived um, from Be Stitch Me. So if you have not gotten yours, uh, please avert your eyes. This is a spoiler alert. I get the Ada in neutral. And so this month it is sleet, which is beautiful. I get 20 count Ada. I get a fat quarter. This is a gorgeous gray, bluey gray. So very pretty. I'm excited about that. Oh, I forgot. I got a couple of... Christmas cards. So I am going to share those because somebody took the time to send these to me. So I'm going to share them with you. So the first one I got is from Becca Sambry Stitches. She did a beautiful card with some of her stitching, her tree with some stitching, and her Silent Night um, display. So I think it's awesome. Becca Sambry Stitches. And then I got a beautiful card 
It says, believe in the magic of Christmas. I love that. With uh, two skeins of DMC from Cassie Jo Stitches. I think it's Cassie. Cassie Jo Stitches. And she has a floss tube. I have not had a chance. I am so far behind, folks. I think I've said this before. I think I'm on like Flossmas Day 5. Um, I'm going to be watching Flossmas until like February. And then it'll be time for like Mania. And I'm going to still be like in February's video. <laughs> But Cassie Jo Stitches. So if you're looking for some new floss tubes to watch, sounds like fantastic. She wrote me a lovely note in here. So Cassie, thank you so much for that. I so appreciate you taking the time to send me a Christmas card. I got an order from, I think this was Black Friday's. No, I just think it was ones I saw the week after. That was right. This was their last week they released. Love You More Studio Co. Um, I love, this is their gorgeous card. Katie did the graphics on it. Um, this is their info, loveyoumorestudios.com. They sell these originally as book sleeves and then Michelle Garrett, Vindy Stitchy, she used, started using them as project pouches and it's incredible. They're like my most favorite. They stand up nicely up on a shelf, on my bookshelf. It's like awesome and they're fun and you can match them to your project or just whatever you like or you think is cute or and if you follow Love You More Studio Co. on Fridays, they do um, Fabric Friday posts in their Insta stories to show you all the new designs. They show you the inside. They show you the outside. They tell you the name before they put it on their website, which is awesome. So this is the first one that I got. And this one is Abominable. I don't know if any of these are still available. You're welcome to go check their website. This is the standard size. Abominable. I love the little Yetis. So cute. I had to have this one. This is Fleece Navidad. Look at that sheep knitting, or the sheep's knitting. And they're skating. Look at this one. Living his best life. So good. Fleece Navidad. Again, this is the standard size. And then I got this one, Reindeer Games. And this is the full size. I think this was all that was left of this one. And it's actually more like a canvas fabric. It's super cute. I love it. The pinks and the turquoise and blues and all of that. So got some more pouches. I'm one of the big things that I'm doing with my whip parade is I have a lot of projects in like the Amazon bags, the zippy ones, but there's nothing wrong with that. But I have a lot of pouches I've gotten that they can move into. All right. I placed an order with, let me get my cute note out, Creative Carol Designs and it's creative with a K. You can find her super cute card. So, Creative Carol Designs, Creative with a K, Carol with a C, designs.etsy.com, um, she sent me a beautiful note. She was so, she said she was so appreciative with my patience. I don't feel like I waited that long for these beautiful bags. Um, I had seen these on Stitching with the Housewives and thought they looked incredible. And I had bookmarked their page. And when I saw this fabric come up, I went and was like, yes. Because I have, I'm hoping my new year, new start. It depends on if the fabric and the chart actually arrive. I ordered them from Brandy at Be Stitch Me. And she has been bogged down with amazingness. Um, so I don't know if it'll come in time or not. But it's going to go in this bag. And this is, she does beautiful vinyl front bags. This is her smaller size. They have a handle, which I think is fantastic. This is a Tula fabric. She has a lovely tag on the back. They come shipped flat with cardboard, so this does not get any crinkles or anything. And this is, I'm hoping, going to hold my New Year New Start. It might not be New Year New Start, but it is going to be a, soon after the first of the year start. So this is a beautiful coneflower pattern. And then this one I grabbed at the same time because I felt like Snow Queen needed a beautiful bag as well. And so there's this gorgeous winter scene with this sparkly plaid and then on the back this snowy tree scene and what I love about this is that this is like nearly perfect how it's matched I love how the plaid is on the bias so pretty such a great design so I would encourage you to go check it out very reasonable pricing considering how beautiful these bags are and you can clearly see the craftsmanship is there um, every seam is turned is pressed is over top stitched it's beautiful and I love the idea of a handle on it as well 
Okay, so one of the other things that I ordered to open this morning is, <clears throat> excuse me, Lauren at Treehouse Knits listed a bit ago, um, a, I think it was a Christmas morning sock set or a Christmas morning three color fade set. And so I did the three color fade set. And um, so if you have not gotten this or not opened it yet, I'm going to say spoiler alert. Um, but it's got three beautiful uh, yarns that fade into one another. And I did the DK Lux, which is extra fine merino wool, 100%. So this is color number one. And this looks like her inspiration picture. This is color number two. So she tells you fade one, fade two, and fade three. Look how beautiful that is. So I think I have an idea for a pro project for this. I uh, favorited some things on Ravelry when I ordered this just to get an idea. So I don't know. This has got 219 uh, yards on each. So I've got, you know, 600 yards or so for a project. So yeah. All right, I think what we're gonna do is I'm gonna share some giveaways that are not related to mystery boxes. So for some of you that may not be interested in seeing the mystery boxes, I would say stick around because there's some stuff I'm giving away in one of them, but I'm gonna do some giveaways right now that are not mystery box related. Now, the numbers are not in any particular order. So what I would suggest is maybe grab a post-it, grab a piece of paper, something, put a note in your phone, because these are not gonna be in any particular order. We're going one through 20. I might throw in some words here, there, and everywhere. So the first giveaway is actually a Kathy Barrett bundle. So you will be getting Strawberry Town by Kathy Barrett, Liberty Bell by Kathy Barrett, and BR's Moth. So three charts from Kathy Barrett. And this is going to be number 20, 2020. Not the word 20, just 2020. All right, we have December's Bag of the Month from Garon Tolton Bags. It's beautiful. It's got these super cute snowmen. This is a 12 by 13 project bag, um, and this is going to be number eight. So number eight, and I did not staple it through the bag, don't worry, but my post-its tend to fall off. Number eight. All right, for all you yarn lovers out there, since I had some Molly Klein designs, I figured I'd throw in a mini skein set from Molly Klein Sweet Tea Yarns. This is the It's the Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown set. So it includes the following yarns. I Got a Rock, Pumpkin Patch, Tricks and Treats, Linus and Sally, Halloween Party, and Red Baron. So it's six mini skeins. Each one, I believe, is 90 yards. So this would make a great project. This is number seven seven. All right. Now I will share this book with one of you. So this is Sweet Land of Liberty by Blackbird Designs. Um, this is the full book with the charts in it. Um, it's got some beautiful samplers. I know quite a few people that are working on this one. It's got a beautiful drum. There's just a great alphabet in here. Um, so yeah, there's some gorgeous, like I think this one is so pretty for the top of like a shaker box. Gorgeous. So this is number six. Six. All right, so we're gonna show some more stuff. So I'm gonna put that down there. There's more in there. But so far we've got six, which is Sweet Land of Liberty. Seven. Eight and 20. So I would suggest if you're going to be interested in them all, you could just write one through 20, but don't put down something you're not really super excited about because there probably is somebody that is very super excited about it. All right, so I'm going to show you next my, um, hold on, I've got stuff that doesn't belong over here. Mystery Box from Mystic Fabrics. You can find her on Facebook in her group, Mystic Fabrics. And I do have one giveaway from this box, so I will get to that shortly. Um, there was a specific order that I was supposed to open this in, uh, just for maximum whatever. And the first thing was to open the peppermint bag, which has candy in it. It has soft peppermints, and this smelled so good. 
It is a tin of cinnamon Altoids. I'm right, really into cinnamon right now, so I was super pumped about that. Then she said, okay, open all of the all the bags. Did she say that next? I think so. Open all the bags. So one of the bags had thread straighteners. So this is a tool. She's had a lovely note that shared all about all the different items. So I'm interested to try these. Apparently we'll get kinks out, which would be really good because I have some floss on bobbins that desperately need the kinks out of them. So it was all the bags first. Um, I got one of these, which is a bead nabber, and I'm excited because I'm embarking on some projects with beads, and so I think that will be greatly useful. So it's kind of like a tacky bob, but it goes on your finger. Um, a beautiful pair of Premax scissors. They're serrated. She says that they're awesome, and you will love them. I love the pattern of them, and I have so many awesome scissor bobs from Jen Upton that I needed more scissors, so there you go. All right, so next, let's look at some of the items that were in the pretty pouches. So one of said items is some needle minders. Oops. And th these bags, unfortunately, are kind of shredding. This one goes along with the chart that is in there. It's a little fairy, which I think is so cute. And there's another one that says, me please, how cute is that? And these are from Crescent Moon Laser Designs and it looks like they are on Etsy. So super fun needle minders. Oops, that I just dropped on the floor. And then in this little pouch was some beautiful treeway silks and this is in Mystic Fairy. This is gonna come into play here in just a minute. So then we got, oops, this really, sorry, I want to make sure I didn't leave anything down in there. This really cool flexible magnet board that you can use to put your chart on. It's a smaller size than some of the larger ones, and then you get the two magnetic strips. But she made a great point, is that if you don't want to use this, because I stitch nearly entirely off of my iPad. I don't know why I said nearly entirely, completely off of my iPad. You can put this in a picture frame and use it to put needle minders. So I will be doing that because I think that's genius because I've about run out of room on my hoop back here. So we got that. Where to go next? Oh yes, we got some fray stop, which is apparently very good for preventing fraying, uh, safely preventing fraying on your cross stitch fabrics. Um, so I thought that was really nice and handy. And then she said to still to open the pouches before the, the bags, the like bags. Not these bags, but the plastic bags. It included some charts, some beautiful charts. So the first one is an Ink Circles Dilly Dahlia. And this comes with this beautiful batik for finishing and the florals. Cannot wait. That is gorgeous. Tracy is just a genius. I love it. Okay. It also came with Petal Pusher, which I love. And there's multiple colorways. It's a roll your own adventure. So you can choose your own colors. And then this one, Fairy Ring Around the Rosy. I love it. So this is the one that the needle minder matches. Is this little, where is she? This little fairy with the leaf over her head is what is on the needle minder. So, this is the floss for this chart. How cool is that? So, I'm gonna share with you though, there was one more chart that I don't plan on stitching, but I know somebody will love it. So this is Bendy Stitchies, Hilda, Hildy's Hayride. So cute. I am not a Halloween stitcher, so I'm gonna pass this off to somebody else. And I'm also going to include these size 28 easy guide ball tip needles, which I've heard are really good, but I'm a John James fan. This is number 19. So number 19. So also in here were some other cool stuff things. So then she said, open these. Well, I thought this is the most genius thing and I am stoked about it. She gave us this ring with every type of fabric that she dies. All the way from a 14 count Charles Craft Ada to a 56 count Kingston linen from Zweigert. 
every single one, including opalescent, all the even weaves, all the linens, all the Adas. And she suggested that this is great to compare when you get a grab bag or something and you don't know your counts. It's also great to try out with different quantities of strands because you know there's enough for you to do a one strand, a two strand, a three strand, whatever the case may be. And I just think that's so cool. I love it. And there's some in here that I was like, oh, I might need to try that. Like 22 count Harbinger. So anyway, awesome idea. Love it. Misty, I love it. So cool. And then there were two fun little bags. And in these two fun little bags are the mystery box fabrics and my grab bag. So I was able to tag on a grab bag and I could choose. So I chose 18 count Zweigert in neutral. So I got this beautiful gray, grayish blue. I got this really cool green. This cocoa -y brown and this pretty neutral. So I got four, um, I think they're fat eights. Let's see. Yes, fat eights. And those came in my box or they came in a bag actually, but like a gift bag, which I think is awesome. It came in a box, but then it was wrapped inside. So I could get rid of the box, which was great. Um, okay, and then, then, and then there was fabric. And here is the coolest thing, okay? So we've got Pearl, which is a new colorway, 18 count Ada. And Pearl is the fabric that is used for Fairy Ring Around the Rosies. So Pearl and this. I have everything to chart to stitch this. How cool is that? Okay, then we got Lemongrass, which she says is one of her new favorite neutrals. And this is the fabric for Lemongrass. Or this chart goes with Lemongrass. And then we've got Veteris, or Veritas, Veteris, which I love Veteris. And that is the fabric that is called for on Petal Pusher. How cool is that? How cool is that? How cool is that? I love it. So I'm not passing any of these along. Um, I've got more good stuff coming, but I'm not passing any of these along. I think that's awesome that I basically got some kitted projects or pretty close to kitted projects. And I love, I love ink circles. So like I'm thrilled there. And then this was the open last, which is the letter that explains everything and is spoilery. It also includes, um, a cross stitch gauge, which she said, if you'd leave it in the plastic, you can hang it on your swatch thing, which I think is fantastic. And it came with a needle threader. This does not work on the ball tip needles. It works on the regular tapestry needles. So, how cool is that? So cool, right? So again, from this box, I am sharing the awesome Bendy Stitchy Design. And that was number 19. I'm making sure I get everything back in this bag so that when I take it back, Take it into my craft room. I can easily put it all away. All right. So let me move this over to this side. I think I can reach one more. One more box. Let's see. Eek. Let's see. I can get it. Yay. Okay. I'm going to leave this one over here. Oh, and there's the candy. Let's not, let's not lose candy. These all came with massive quantities of candy. Um... Okay, so next up, I got an awesome box from Anna at Stitch Toolbox. Um, she was fantastic in that she gave the option of paying in two payments, which was fantastic. Lots of fun goodies in here. Um, so I'll just kind of show you briefly, like, all the coolness. So she had a beautiful skein of Gentle Arts and Cherry Bark. All the things came packaged in cute little packaging. She's got some uh, thread tags. She did a homemade mask. Look at this. This is gorgeous. Um, oops. A counting pen that looks like an angel. Love it. And then, like, what I love about this is that it's got a cute little tag that could easily go in my stitchy journal. I love that. Oops. We got that. Some beautiful fabric and it says this fabric was a last minute item it's not a big piece 
but she thought it could work for an ornament or two. It's a beautiful color, so absolutely it would work for an ornament or two. Um, let's see what else. We've got, I actually won, um, she does a giveaway with her bags of the month. I won the October bag prize, so she stuck it in, which is this cute owl needle minder and this one that says, let me mind your needle. So I thought that was really sweet. She even did a seal on her letter. There's a bag with some finishing materials in it, some buttons and a couple of trims, a jingle bell, jingle bells, a fun pick that could be used for finishing an item. This pretty like tree bark star. I love this. She does beautiful thread drops. Look at this one. So it's got the key with the like little um, tree inside and then a pretty bead, glass bead. Some pretty stork scissors. Um, a little box for finishing. She even included the batting. A journal that is from this, um, I think it's Hody, Hottie, H-O-T-T-E Designs Co. It's a composition book with um, some beautiful embellishments. A chart from Stitch Toolbox. This is Christmas Treats. It's exclusive to the box. This is so pretty. Okay. And... This is actually not everything. A bag. How fun is that? So pretty. I love this big Santa on the back. And the fabric of this matches the mask, which I think is really cool. Yes. And then there were some other goodies in here that I'm sharing with one of you. So this is number 18. So this is some of the goodies from the box. This is Christmas Tree Farm by Twin Peaks Primitives. Also included will be this really pretty wooden paddle with some raffia that would be great for finishing a small, an ornament, something like that. I love all these things, but I want to pass them off to you for being such awesome friends on FlossTube. There's some stitch cards. I'm trying not to crinkle as much as possible. Some tea. Ginger turmeric. A beautiful scissor fob, the snowflake, a jolly snowman needle minder, and some size 24 tapestry needles. So again, if you are interested in the Stitch Toolbox goodies, that is number 18. And guys, I will say this, these, the items, I didn't say this at the beginning, but these items that are physical items will be for US only at the, at the time. However, stay tuned to the end because I'm going to have an option for my international friends um, because I can't, I can't, I can't risk these items getting lost um, because I can't replace them if they do. So that was my stitch toolbox. Super fun. So, well, actually, I have more than 20 giveaways. We are now about, we will do here in just a second my Be Stitch Me um, box. But first, I would like to do some more of the other giveaways. So, this is going to be number 10. It is a Lori Holt design board. This is the 10 by 10 size. It's a cute red check. I thought it was perfect for Christmas time. I'm going to include a highlighter for those who like to highlight their patterns and a fun a retractable tape measure. This actually came out of the Mystic Fabrics. This is going to be number 10. Number five is this fun um, painted pumpkins Mill Hill kit. It is a full kit with the beads, the floss, all of that. And I actually got two of the bead nabbers. I got one in my Bee Stitch Me box and one in my Mystic box. So I'm going to include this with giveaway number Five. I will go back over all the giveaways at the end. Okay. 
All right, number four. It's not Christmas themed, but it just came in the mail and I'm passing it off to somebody. This is from Pineberry Lane. This is part of the Quaint Country Ladies. It's the last one of this year and it's called Pumpkin Seed. It is the complete kit with all the finishing, the floss, the linen, everything. This is number four. Number nine is going to be a fun book from A.M. Drake. This is like my stitchy journal. I saw this one and I snapped it up because I thought it's so cute. It could be Christmassy or not. It's a beautiful hand done journal. Um, I have stitched smalls in mine. I got the idea from Michelle G. Bendy Stitchy and this one's just so fun, so cute. This is number nine, number nine. I have some floss packs from Mystical Diamond Art. Um, you can find her, it's Amy is her name. You can find her on her website at mysticaldiamondart.com. She has a floss of the month. So this was September's flosses. There are five in here. They're beautiful. Eight yards a piece. This is number one. This is August's. Again, five skeins in here, all eight yards a piece. This is number two. And this is, I think, October's. There's five skeins in here. This is number three. So now let's look at Be Stitch Me. And then I will go back over all of the giveaway items one more time. Let me pick these up off the floor real quick. And put them back in my bucket so I can easily reach them. So I am blown away with Brandy's goodie box. Um, she had three levels of her, she called it her winter, winter solstice box. She had three levels and then you could pick your fabric count. I did the deluxe box. Um, there was an epic box. I, it was not within my budget to do the epic box, but I'm blown away by the deluxe box. And at the time she was offering 20 count, but it was not an option on the box, but I requested it. She said, not a problem. So I got mine with 20 count, which is fantastic. So first thing. This whole thing is filled with delicious chocolatey and peppermint goodies, including some Ghirardelli, which I thought was awesome. I got a very cool Arctic travel mug that will fit in a cup holder of a car. Um, I think this is going to be fantastic for my um, hot cocoa. So yay. Um, so fun, and I love the color. It goes along with the box that it was in. Singing of cocoa, it came with this uh, Momo Mint Cocoa Mix. And this is from Momo Cocoa. And it says a taste of the Pacific, oh, a classic taste of mint from the Pacific Northwest. Makes two servings. So I'm looking to see if there's some contact information. Momococo.com. So very fun. Got a highlighter, a pink one. Um, a beautiful little needle tin. It's got like, it's finished on top to look like kind of the Northern Lights. So it's the kind that looks like this and has a little tiny magnet in there to hold your needles. Love that. And it came in a fun little pouch. It came with a awesome, I guess it's Glowforge maybe, um, wood needle minder. Love it. A beautiful set of floss tags and a ring. You can always use those. Hold on. It came with, in this little pouch, whoops, a gorgeous scissor fob and frogger combo. Awesome. Which I think might be from Stitch Toolbox, I think. A bag, a Be Stitch Me bag. How cool is that? I love it. With like pockets and more pockets and more pockets. This is going to be awesome. It's so good. And it's in the turquoise color. It came with a fantastic chart exclusive from Cherry Hill Stitchery. Let it snow. I love that. And then, of course, it would not be Be Stitch Me without some silks beautifully dyed silks and some fabrics. So this is the winter solstice silk set. So each of these is 10 yards. You have nebula, ash, sugar plum, 
Frost and Blue Jay. Now, I do know that the basic box did not include silks. I'll tell you why I know that here in just a minute. Um, so I think it was just the deluxe and up. I do believe she might still have, I don't know if she still has the Valentine's box up, but I know she's, I think, I say, I think, she might still have her St. Patrick's Day box up, and I know she's going to do a spring box. I think the, um, I think she's going to start doing just a, four seasonal boxes a year. So these are the fabrics that came with. This is my precious, beautiful 20 count Ada. These are Fat Eights. This is Ledger. You could choose to get Fat Quarters and it would increase the cost of your box. I chose the Fat Eights because with 20 count, you can fit quite a bit on a Fat Eight. This is Ledger again, sorry. This is Black Ice, look at this. That is so beautiful. I don't know what I'd put on that, but it's pretty. I think it would be really cool with like an all white monochrome. Love this. Super deep, 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 deep plum called Baron. Almost to a black, but it's definitely got a purple base. Just wait. I gotta show you the whole of this one. This is Aurora. Again, I have no idea what I will put on this, but it is so pretty. So good. And then last is Winter Solstice. Just a really pretty light, light lavender, bluish lavender. So pretty. So I absolutely adore my box. And I decided when I purchased my box, a few days later I went, you know what? I think it'd be fun to give one away. Not all to one person, but to give away the contents of said box to many people. So we have some items from this box to give away. Um, this is the candy that came in. It. Um, I am not giving away the pattern because it does say do not share it. Um, so even though I'm giving this away, I'm not going to share that code. I also am keeping this 16 count Baron for myself. So let me show you what I am giving away. So the first is, this is going to be number 12. It includes the needle minder, a beautiful scissor fob that is from Stitch Toolbox. Kind of looks like the Northern Lights. And some Momo Cocoa. Momo Mint Cocoa Mix. So that's number 12. Number 11 is going to be your very own arctic travel mug so very same one i got so that's number 11 again i will go back over them again now the fabrics i'm giving away are 16 count ada okay so the first one this is number 17 this is 16 count my precious in a fat eight number 16 will be 16 count ledger 16 15 is black ice also 16 count 14 is winter solstice 14 and then aurora which i'll show you this one doesn't have as much pink but it's still really pretty this one will be number 13 so i'm pretty much to the end of showing everything so i'm going to go back through the giveaway items remember you need to list every single one that you're interested in please really genuinely want it. Um, I'd love them to go to somebody who's going to use them. So, in no I wish I could put these back in order, but they're not. So, I apologize. Make a note. 13, 16 count Aurora. 14, which is 16 count Winter Solstice. This is number 15, which is Black Ice in 16 count Ada. Number 16 is Ledger in 16 Count Ada. Number 17 is My Precious in 16 Count Ada. Number 11 is the Arctic Travel Mug. Number 12 is the Stitching Accoutrement, the Needle Minder, the Scissor Fob or Thread Drop or Bag Pull, whatever you want to use it for, and the Cocoa Mix. So again, this is number 12. 
Number eight is the Garon Tote Bag. Number seven is the Molly Klein uh, Mini Stain Pack. Number 20 is the set of three Kathy Barrett charts, Strawberry Town, Liberty Bell, and BR Smoth. This is number 20. Number six is Sweet Land of Liberty. Book. This is number 18, which is the goodies from the Stitch Toolbox Mystery Box. So some of the finishing goodies, some like a needle minder, a scissor fob, and then the Twin Peaks Primitive Chart. Number four is the Pineberry Lane Kit. Number four. Number five is the cute little painted pumpkins and the bead grabber, bead nabber, whatever. Uh, number 19 is Hildy's Hay Ride from Mindy Stitchy Designs with the Easy Guide Ball Tip Needles. Number 10 is the Lori Holt Design Board with the tape measure and the highlighter. Number two is the Mystic Diamond Art Floss August set. Number three is the October set, also from Mystical Diamond Art. Number one is the September set from Mystical Diamond Art. And number nine is the Stitchy Journal, or the beautiful hand-finished book with some decorative items from A.M. Drake, Twisted Rabbit Creations. Um, so that's number nine. So these are open to U.S. residents. However, if you are one of my international watchers, international friends, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do two Etsy gift cards. That way you can use it at the shop of your choice. Two Etsy gift cards. Um, one moment. I'm looking to see. I want to make sure I tell you the right quantity. Hmm. Well, okay, we're just going to say an Etsy gift card. Um, in whatever, I think, I think it's a $20. We'll say two $20 Etsy gift cards. So if you are international, please enter and you're going to put 21. Um, and I will draw for two. So 21 is going to be a $20 Etsy gift card. Please, that is only for my international folks. Um, and I will draw for two. So again, 21 is the Etsy gift card for anyone who is international, not within the uh, United States. Now, if you are not continental United States, AKA you're in um, a territory, you're at an APO address, please enter any of the giveaways that I have. Um, so I think that's all the nonsense and foolishness I have to show with, share with you. I will be back this next week. Um, I will be back with whip parades this next, next week. Um, I will do short daily videos showing you open my, show you open my, I can't speak. Um, showing the opening of my yarn advent. I will show you some things I've been working on. Next Friday's video will probably be just brief. I might talk a little bit about beginning of the year plans. I'll probably show you my New Year's Day start, whatever that is. And um, we'll get back to kind of our normal videos on, I guess it'd be the 8th, 8th or 9th. I think it's the 8th. Um, so what we have going on is this next week, we are just kind of going to be getting obviously all of the Christmas put away. I want to do some organizing in my crawfish. Oh, we have some stuff we need to take to donation centers that we've gone through and cleaned out closets and things like that that just has piled up and we need to get those gone. We go back to work and school on the 4th. Um, 
So I will be checking in with you daily. Whip Parade's next week. A regular floss tube, but a, an abbreviated one next Friday. And then we'll be back on our normal, normal schedule. Our regular schedule. I shouldn't say normal. Nothing is normal about this year. Our regular schedule on the 8th. So with that, I hope you have had a wonderful holiday. Um, if this isn't the holiday you celebrate, I totally get that. Um, it is this holiday I celebrate. I know some of you may think that this was beyond excessive, but one, I got them because this was my Christmas from my family. And two, uh, I love crafty stuff, so why wouldn't I want all of this? And in getting them, I'm able to pass some cool stuff off to y'all to say thank you for this year. Thank you for your support, your encouragement. This has been definitely a year of hills and valleys. Um, I'm feeling positive about the year to come. We shall see. You never know. I, I feel like I went into 2020 with all these ideas and grand plans and God had a different idea for me. And he threw a big old wrench in what I thought my works were. Um, ultimately, that was a very good lesson learned. Um, I hope that you're doing well, that um, you're able to celebrate this holiday, this time of year in whatever way is safe and works best for you. I know that for many of you, that means you don't get to see your family. I am exceedingly blessed that my family is one very small. I did not get to see all my extended family. There's much of my extended family I have not seen all year. I have not seen since Christmas last year uh, because we chose not to get together in any way, shape, or form. Um, but I am blessed that my small family is all within the same bubble. Um, my... My mom and my sister-in-law work together every single day. Um, my mom is part of my life every single day. They are in my bubble. Um, so with that being said, be safe. Have some awesome crafting time. Hopefully you'll get some time to relax. I know many of you probably work today. Some of you worked yesterday. Some of you are back working tomorrow. Um, happy Boxing Day to those of you that Boxing Day is, is, your, is your thing tomorrow. Um, we used to go out and do after Christmas shopping. I don't know what that's going to look like. Um, we typically go buy like our wrapping paper for the next year and things like that. I kind of have a lot of wrapping paper, so I may be just sitting at home crafting. Um, with that, I wish you a wonderful evening ahead. This is a long one, folks, but I somehow managed to do this all in one take. Um, I wish you all the blessings on the remainder of this year. Thank you so much again for your support, for your for your kindness, for your encouragement, for your amazingness. Please enter the giveaways. I want to send them off to people. Um, those are going to be open until January. I will pick the winners of those on January the 8th. Um, and so you are welcome to enter all the way up until then. That simply because next Friday is going to be probably a short one. I'll find something to talk about and make it long anyway. But with that, I will wish you a wonderful, wonderful Friday. Thank you so much for joining me. I will see you tomorrow for a brief daily video opening my, um, Abbott that I've totally wrecked. And if you made it to this point, thumbs up for you. Enter those giveaways. Don't say giveaway. Don't say free. Use those numbers. Be awesome. And I will say, so long, stitch well. I'll see you soon, my friends. Goodbye. And Merry Christmas. <laughs>